This is the My Excel Online Podcast, episode number zero. There are 750 million people that use Microsoft Excel and less than 5% use it to its full potential. Welcome to the My Excel Online Podcast, the need to know Excel insights, knowledge and tips brought to you by the experts that know them best. Are you ready to explore your full potential and get better at Excel? It's time to stand out from the crowd with your host, John Mikalutis. G'day guys, my name is John Michalutis from the My Excel Online podcast and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my background and why I decided to launch this podcast for all of you. Now, I was born in Australia back in 1979. My parents were Greek immigrants and went to live in Australia for a better future because back in the 70s, there wasn't any jobs and even today, after so many years, nothing has changed. So they went to Australia for a better future for us and, and I was born there and I went to high school and university. I studied a Bachelor of Commerce, major in accounting at La Trobe University in Melbourne. So I was there for three years and then I graduated and found a job straight away working in a cinema chain. So that was my first job as a financial accountant. And it was around that time that I was exposed to Microsoft Excel. Now, I wasn't an expert in Excel. I knew how to use a couple of formulas, how to sum, and I wasn't the best. So it was just making the data that I had make that look nice and presentable. No way an expert. And I was there for four years, and then I went to another job working as a finance broker for a small firm. So I used Excel a little bit there. And then I decided to leave Melbourne and go and and see the world and experience the world because, hey, we only have one chance of life so you might as well see what's out there and I went to Europe and I found a job in Dublin Ireland I started working there in a finance company so I started looking at my colleagues and they were using VLOOKUPs and they were using pivot tables and I go what's this and then I tried you know to learn that and use it and I wasn't really good at that I was, and I was making mistakes with a VLOOKUP as you do the first time on the user couldn't get my head around that you know no one had taught me there wasn't any training in the job so you had to learn from reading articles or YouTube channel and then that's where I met my wife in Dublin she's Spanish we went back to Spain and I found a job working in a company in Madrid. I realized that, okay, now I want to stand out from my colleagues. I want to really be good. To do that, there's two ways. For me to stay in this job for 10 years and slowly and gradually go all the way up or learn Excel and really be good at Excel. So I decided to, the quickest way is to learn Excel. So what I did is I downloaded a couple of Excel online courses. I went home and I started learning slowly and surely and using what I learned into my daily job. Then I also found a great website called Chandu.org and all the blogs and posts that Chandu had on there were like, wow, I didn't know you can do this with Excel. This is an awesome, amazing tool. So slowly and surely, I got into that. And then there was a dashboard contest. Chengdu has a dashboard contest, I think once a year. And back then in 2010, I decided to join the dashboard contest. And I started applying all these formulas, pivot tables. And I thought, wow, I started learning new tricks every day and ended up getting some great feedback from Chengdu and the judges. I didn't win, but I came fourth. I think the top three got prizes and I ended up getting a commendable fourth or loser place, if you could say that. But then I just fell in love with Excel and I was the Excel go-to guy at my job. Then my wife fell pregnant. We went to the north of Spain in Bilbao and I had to find another job. So I go, okay, another job. And it was at General Electric. In there, they had an internal Excel blog just for GE employees. And with all the knowledge, well, all the knowledge, the knowledge that I gained in a year of really learning Excel, I started applying some Excel tips in this internal blog. I had my own blog called Excel Tips. And I used to post screenshots or live screenshots. They're called animated GIFs of how to do an Excel task. And I would post that. It will be 30 seconds to a minute long and it shows the person the Excel tip. And within under 12 months, I had 10,000 followers. And I go, wow, a massive company like GE and I had 10,000 followers because they didn't know how to use Excel. And then I started thinking, I go, okay, 
I have to do a course for these guys. I got to do an online course. And I decided what is one thing that people don't really know about an Excel feature that people are not comfortable with. And I wasn't comfortable with as well. And it was pivot tables. And I had a little bit of an idea how to use pivot tables, but wasn't an expert. So I bought a book called Pivot Table Data Crunching by Bill Jalen. And that gave me the inspiration to record this Excel course. And what I did is I, for 12 months, I, at nighttime, I used to record my videos. I'd go and search all the online resources, the different books. And I came out with this monster pivot table course, which has over 200 tutorials, about 220 short video tutorials. And I decided to sell it at GE and compliance came in and they said, you cannot sell this to our employees because you're working here and you cannot have another company. So I go, okay, what do I do? So I didn't sell it to them. I ended up selling it to other people outside that company. And I got a lot of feedback and a lot of customers thought, wow, this is something big. And I decided, okay, then I am going to leave my job in GE and concentrate on helping other people get better at Excel. So I left my job in early 2015 and I concentrated on promoting this pivot table course called the Extreme Pivot Table course. From that, I set up an online Excel blog and I post daily tips on Excel ranging from formulas, pivot tables, charts, and analysis. And then from there, I decided to create a podcast. I thought, okay, it's a great way of me to get the message across to beginners or intermediate users about Excel and the different ways that they can use Excel and learn from the Excel MVPs and experts. So I decided to create this podcast and it's going to be a weekly podcast where I interview Excel experts or Excel MVPs and asking about a feature within Excel. And they go and explain the different uses and in what scenarios you would use that feature. So it can be anything from a VLOOKUP formula to Power Query to Power Pivot to Macros, VBA, Excel add-ins, anything relating to Excel. So the format of the show is to ask questions about the subject of expertise, then go into more detail about their course or book that they have out there and ask them a little bit about what that involves. And then the fun bit goes into the Excel favorites. So I ask the Excel experts about what their keyboard shortcut is, what their favorite Excel tip is, what their favorite function is, what Excel adding they like. So all these different things I ask them. And then I also ask them a weird Excel scenario at the end. So it's a fun little podcast. And what I do is I have show notes at the end of each podcast, which you can find on myexcelonline.com slash podcast. You find the notes on each episode there. So if we talk about a tip and you can't visualize it, well, I have a link there showing you how that tip works visually. So you can listen to this podcast while you're going to work or while you're training. And then when you're back online, you can click on that link and it'll show you what this Excel expert explained to you and how it is used. So I've got all these different links on the show notes. So it makes it easier for you to grasp what they're saying. Another thing that I'll do is one week, I'll get an Excel expert on to talk about their subject of expertise. And the second week, I'll have a shorter episode where I talk about an Excel add-in or a book or a specific product or Excel feature that will help you become better at Excel. I think it's going to be a really valuable tool for all you listeners out there. Whether you're an Excel beginner, an intermediate, an advanced user, an Excel MVP, you're going to learn something new because in Excel, you never stop learning. And this is my way of getting that message out to you. Hopefully you can get something else. And my aim is for you to save that hour a day maybe a week and throughout the year, that sums up to a few days. Now, if you can go home earlier and spend more time with your family and also learn along the way, the power of Excel, then I've done my job. So thank you for listening. If you can share this podcast with your colleagues and friends and get them to sign up via iTunes, then I will greatly appreciate it. There are 750 million people that use Microsoft Excel and less than 5% use it to its full potential. So the more people that you share this podcast with, the better. Okay, thank you once again and 
keep excelling. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the My Excel Online Podcast. Be sure to subscribe and share this with your colleagues so they can reach their full Excel potential. You can also visit myexcelonline.com slash podcast for show notes as well as John's online Excel courses and free tutorials to help you stand out from the crowd. Until next time, keep excelling. Keep excelling.